love you people and welcome back to my tutorial for today i sincerely appreciate you all for all your support and your love thank you so much for stopping by and please watch this video till the end now today's class we shall be looking at how to cut those inverted pleats with collar neck as you can see it's a very beautiful clothes. Mm -hmm. So just follow me to the cutting table and see how we achieve this beautiful dress. And please, if this is your first time, help us by clicking on that red icon to subscribe. And also touch the notification bell. Select all to be the first to be notified whenever I upload a new video. So, let's go down to work. Okay, here I'll, be, I'll first of all cut out my front part before cutting the back part. I would have chosen to cut it together, but because of the inverted plate that will be at the front part, it won't be equal with the back. So, I'll be cutting the front first before cutting the back. So I folded my fabric into two, then I mark out three inches from my shoulder line where my measurement will be starting from. So I marked three inches there, I marked three inches here, so I just measured that three inches from this place down to my hemline so all my measurements now will be starting from those three points from this three inches now is where I will be starting all my measurements okay so here those three that I use here it's not a standard you can choose to increase your own to four inches, three and a half inches, depending on the how you want your pleat to be. But I'm I, I'm using three inches when folded, but when unfolded is six inches, so it's okay by me. So you can choose to add yours or to reduce yours. The choice is yours. So I'll start my measurement from those points, and the shoulder I'm working with is sixteen inches. Divide by two. To give me eight inches, so I'll mark my eight inches here. I'll mark my eight inches, and I'll mark my three inches for my shoulder slope. So at the line of the eight inches, I'll come down by one inch. I'll come down by one inch for my shoulder slope. Then, the armhole I'm working with is eighteen inches. Divide by two to give me nine inches. So here, I will mark my 9 inches here. So for me to get this, I will just check my 8 inches from this point. Which is here. So I will make a straight line to connect it this way. So here I'll make my shoulder slope from 3 inches to the 1 inch here for the shoulder slope. I'll just slant it this way. So at this point now I'll be taking my bust measurement. The bust I'm working with is 40. 1 inches divide by 4 to give me 10.25 so from this point again remember our measurement is not starting from here it's starting from that 3 inches that we marked already so from here now i will mark my 10.25 then i'll add 1 inch for my ease because this is a free dress, so I'll be adding one inch for my ease at the bust line. Then I'll add one and one and a half or one inch for my seam allowance. 
I'll be adding one inch for my seam allowance. So coming down here, from those points now, I will determine where I want my pleat to stop, to, to stop as in from the, you know, from here, I'll be sewing it up. Then reaching at this at a point, I will leave it so that you will see the line of that pleat. So here, this is the point on where you want your sewing to stop so that your pleat will start from there. So here, I will, it's either you start from under your bust or, or your bust point or your under bust. But me, I'll choose to stop at my just one inch after my bust point. And my bust point is 12 inches. 12 inches, which is here. So I marked 13 inches. Sorry, 13 and a half. Because half an inch will be taken off from those parts to join my shoulder. So that's why I added one and a half inches, making it 13 and a half. So which is here. So as you can see, I marked a line here, which will serve as a guide for me. So when I when I when I'm uh, start when I start to stitch it, I will stitch from up here, and I will stop at this thirteen and a half here. So this is where I will stop my sewing up to form my pleat. So here, so coming down to my waistline. The waist I'm working with is 36 inches divided by 4 will give me 9 inches. So I'll mark my 9 inch. So coming to this waistline, I won't be adding any other ease. Because when I sew up to this place, all this place will be open. So I have 3 inches when folded. But when unfold, I have 6 inches ease from the Breast uh, one inch after my after my breast point down to my hemline. So this space, this this here will serve as my allowance or as my ease. So I won't be adding any other ease at the waistline and at the hip line. So I will be taking my exact measurement at this waistline and at the hip line. So I'll just mark my nine inch for my hip. For my waist measurement, then I'll add one inch for sewing allowance. I'll be adding one inch for my ease. For my sewing allowance, sorry, not ease. At the hip line, my hip measurement is, sorry, you know, to get our hip line from the waist, you measure 9 inches if it's gown. But for skirt, it's 8 inches. So this is a dress. So from my waist line to get my hip line is 9 inches. So I measured my 9 inches here. So at those 9 inches now, I'll be taking my hip measurement. And the hip I'm working with is 48 inches. The bike by 4 will give me 12 inches. So here I'll mark my 12 inches and I'll add my sewing allowance. My 12 inches and I'll add 1 inch for my ease. I'll add 1 inch for my seam allowance. So coming down here, what I have here now is 13 inches. So I'll go, I'll go down to my hemline and mark that my 13 inches. So coming down here to my hemline I will take that that's 13 inches I'll be adding half an inch since my folding stopped at 13 inches 13 and a half let me just mark 13 and a half instead of marking that 13 so I'll just quickly connect my lines now So after connection, I have this. So I'll just go ahead now and cut it out. Okay, before I finish up my cutting, let me quickly 
called uh, mark my neckline and my armhole just find half of this <coughs> excuse me i'll just find half of this my armhole which is four and a half so from there i'll come in by one and a half this way so from there i'll just make it plus so I meet my one and a half and then meet my bust measurement. You can use your armhole call to get this. But if you don't have it, you can do this. Hope you're seeing what I'm doing. Just find half of your armhole. From here, come in by one and a half from those points. Then you curve it to meet the one and a half, then meet your bust measurement this way. Okay, so coming to the neck, at our front part depth, I'll be using four inches. I'll be using four inches for the depth, neck depth. Then at the volume, I'll be using three inches. So here, like this, I will curve it from those three inches. You know, those are our clothes. Looking at the picture, we'll be making um a collar that will be attached to this neck. So that's why I'm using four, and I'm using three at the neck volume. Then I'll use four here for the front. So when you are curving this neck, do not curve to the edge. Sorry. When you are curving the neck, do not curve to reach this part. Just stop at those three inches. Then you make a straight line. Because if you curve here, it will affect you when you are attaching your... When you want to sew it up, you you will notice that it's it's kind of curved, so it have affect your work. So just do it straight, yeah. Then curve from those three inches to meet this part. So I'll just proceed and finish up my cutting, but I won't be cutting this neck because I have to use this and place it at the back, then cut out my bag. So after that, after cutting my back, I will now cut out this. Okay, coming to the back part now. I marked one and a half for my zipper here. So I marked one and a half from this point now. One and a half from this point down to my hemline. So I'll just bring the front part now and place it on top this. this way so when i'm placing this front part at this back part i'll make sure that this my three inches line corresponds with this one and a half here at the back i'll make sure that i place those three inches here so that they will be at the same line I'll just check it. And make sure that it falls at the same line. Okay. So having done so now, I'll add one inch at the waistline so that I will have a little bit of ease at my back point part. So coming to my hip line, I will add one inch again. So I'll just connect it. The 
you can decide to cut out exactly what you have here at the front part at the back part minus those three inches just your normal body measurement you can decide to cut it exact but i don't want to take that risk so i just want to add one one inch at the back part but at my bust area because i've already added one inch is i won't be adding any other thing so i'll just go i'll just connect it I'll just connect the same measurement at my waistline this way I'll have this down to my hip line and from that my hip line now I will connect it straight down to my hem line so coming here at the upper part remember that we just marked it out but we did not cut it i'll cut i will mark i'll just catch out my shoulder again just as we had the same thing so for the back part I'll still be using that 3 inches for the volume, but for the depth, I'll be using, just mark out that bit my 3 inches to touch the back. So here, down here, I'll be using 1.5 inches here for the neck depth. 1.5 inches. So this way, I will connect it. Then I'll come straight at the zipper area. So this is what I have for the back. So I'll just go ahead now and cut it out. Okay, this is my front and my back. So the next thing I will do now is to come up here at the down part by two inches. So from that two inches now, I will make a slight curve. To meet, to connect from this place, I'll make a slight curve here. To meet here. Although from these two inches, I'll just curve it to meet here and I'll cut it out. So that when I close here up, it won't the what I stitch inside won't be showing at the down part of it. That is the essence of chopping here out. So I will just quickly go to my machine now and join the two shoulders, the back and the front. Then I will come back to show you how to cut out the collar. And before I forget, let me open up my zipper part for the back Okay, as you can see, I've joined the two shoulders and I've also closed up those, the three inches that were left at the front part. 
So I'll just go ahead now and use my pressing iron to press it very well. I'll just give it a nice press this way. So just make sure that you open it up before. Then you press it from here down to the hem line. Okay, after ironing, I have this. So I'll go ahead now and close up my back part, then insert my zip. I will insert my zip so that I will close this part up. You know, the collar that will be attaching to the neck part won't be reaching, won't pass, won't exceed this notch that we not here where our zip will be sitting so i will just close up here then attach my zipper then i'll come back to make sure this part of the neck then we cut out our collar that will be attaching to it okay as you can see our cloth is almost ready I've inserted my zipper at the back and I've also closed up the remaining parts down to the hemline. This way. Well, the next thing to do now is to determine the circumference of our neckline. Starting from this point, close to the zipper. So I will calculate, I will check it round. So whatever thing I got, and after this, I have 21 inches. After checking the round neck from this zipper to this zipper. So what I have here is 21 inches. So I've also cut out the fabric that I'll be using for the collar neck. Okay, that 21 that I got, I will divide it into two to give me 10.5. So for the weight, I'm using 8 inches for the weight. So when I divide the length, which is 21 divided by 2, it will give me 10.5. So this is my 10.5 here, this is my 10.5, but because this is a collar, you know, I have to have an extra inch that I will be slanting to give me a collar shape. I added extra, I added extra four and a half inches, I will be using the half for my joining so let's say i just added extra four inches to it so here so this is my two this is my two color this way so i'll fold it again into two so this is what it will look like So now I will open it up. I will still stitch it up back, then I'll stop stitch to make it relax. So here I will fold again this way 
but because this is a little bit stiff material this is a crepe if i fold it like that it will give me trouble cutting it out so let me just divide it and do it two two i'll fold this way so now you know we divided the 21 into two to get this two fabric so each one is 10.5 so that's 10.5 now i will divide it again into two to give me 5.25 then i'll be adding quarter an inch for my joining so i'll be using making use of 5.5 so here I will take my 5.5 this way so this part now will be the part that will be will be attached to the collar neck this part will be the part that will be attached to the collar neck so I will just connect it from this 5.5 like this I'll make a straight line to join to meet this edge part so this is what I have I will slant it this way then I'll then go to my machine and sew up those parts from here I will stitch it up round then turn it I'll stitch from here down here down to this part let me just cut it out so that you will get a clear view of what I am talking about. Just make sure that it's folded equal. Okay, this is what I mean. So this is what we have. So I will just go ahead, go to my machine now. I will stitch from this point straight like this. Then I will come down like this and go down this way again. Then after that, I will turn it up this way. It will not look I now have something like this after turning it I'll have something like this I'll just close up here again before attaching it to my neckline so I'll do the same thing the same cutting here and I'll go to the machine and do the joinings then coming to the sleeve I've already cut out my sleeve if you don't know how to cut your basic sleeve now yet I, I will drop a link of how to cut a basic sleeve and a split sleeve at the description button this part so you can just go there and click on it to watch so this is my sleeve but I want to have to have I want to turn it up with this black so I have three inches here when unfold so when folded i have one uh, 1.5 inches that is one and a half so i will quickly open this one up this way then i'll close this up i will attach it to here this way I will sew it up here straight like this then after that I will open it up stop stitch it so that it will be firm then it will come out this way at the end of the day I will have something like this so let me quickly go to my machine now and do the stitching Okay, now I've stitched it up 
as you can see so I'll just go ahead now and turn it up this way so this is the second part of it so as I turn this now I'll go to my machine and, and do exactly what I did here I just top stitch when I turn it this way and now match on top here straight then I come down and also match this place now I've closed this down part now so I'll do the same thing that I did on this one to this one then after that I will now insert it on the on my neck I'll be sewing this way so this pleat at the front here will be serving as a guide for me so I'll just sew from the back this way this one I'll be putting it at the back like this I'll put it here then I will sew it up till the end till the back part so by the end of the day after sewing it like this I will now stop stitch it then bring it forward Then I'll put the second part again starting from the middle and I'll sew to the end stop top stitch and now bring it forward so after that I will use my body measurements to close the both side insert my pocket I've already cut it out and I'll be and I'll also attach my sleeve and this is the sleeve as you can see I've attached the black part I sew this way Then I turn it like this and, and top stitch this way. Now top stitch it like this so that when I bend it at the front part, the white one won't be showing. So I'll have this. So by the time I close it up, it's my round sleeve. I will have something like this. We have something like this. So I'll quickly go to my machine now and do the final touching. Then I'll come back and show you the result of our dress. Okay, so this is the result of our dress. Wow, so beautiful, right? Mm -hmm, I know. Thank you for watching till the end. And please, if you're yet to subscribe, don't go without doing so. And you know what? It's absolutely free. So please click on the red icon to see our latest and the newest upload. Thank you. Bye.